This is the DPT CP1 versus the Books Note Plus, and we're just going to do a comparison here. If you want to see 360s, individual reviews of both of these, uh, you know, some B-roll footage of the devices themselves, check out our individual videos. Otherwise, let's dive in. We'll look at the home screens first. Obviously, the uh, n the Books Note Plus on the right here has a as an actual home screen I'll just say it has library storage application settings notes and browsers down below the Sony has no such thing actually even if you press the button at the top you will see that there is no home menu all you have is return to document or all documents and which just basically brings you back here there's no dedicated home screen e-reading is something really tricky to compare on these two devices because whereas the Onyx can read multiple formats of uh, ebooks, uh, PDF, EPUB, Mobi, etc. The Sony cannot. It can only run PDFs of any file format of anything. You can't do pictures, you can't do books, you can't do anything else but PDFs. So when you have text like this, you can't long press, you can't pinch and zoom. Uh, all you can do is turn pages. Now there is a little bit of a zoom level here. If you press the top, you can isolate the circle in which you want to zoom. But after that, you're pretty much just locked into this level of zoom with no minimap and no indication of where you are. Exiting simply exits you completely out. Um, on the Onyx, you do have the full-blown e-reading capability so if you long press you get copy highlight annotation dictionary TTS you can even change dictionaries if you load them in yourself uh, if you tap the center you get font face which is going to be where you change all your fonts everything changes live if you press English font face you get 27 pages of font you can even do text style code page and um, this is pretty technical if you have UTF 16 BE texts that you wanna fonts that you wanna load in you can do that uh, bookmarks in the top corner and page turns are lightning fast so whereas this can run PDFs your experience is limited to whatever the font size is on your file You'd figure this only running PDFs that it would absolutely outclass the Onyx Books Note in functionality, but it really doesn't. They're pretty much on point. If you tap the center, you pretty much get the same amount of functionality as you do on the ebook experience on the Sony. You can immediately write on there. You can change a couple things here. We'll get to that in the full note taking experience. But other than that, you do have the same functionality. Nothing has changed. You tap on where you want to zoom. You can move it around and once you press exit that's it that's where the PDF experience ends on the Sony there's not really much else you can do on the Onyx books note plus you have all of the functionality you do on an ebook as you can see here by long pressing a word it does take a little bit of time mind you but it actually does work copy highlight note annotation etc and you also get all of the functionality down here so you get zoom levels navigation levels notes rotation and more there's TTS or slideshow there's a lot going on here the one we want to focus on is scribble you do it does take two or three extra steps to get into but not only do you have all of the functionality as you do on the note taking experience which once again we'll show you um, in a minute you have uh, a PDF fully blown capacitive cooperative mode so you see you have a zoom factor level you can pinch and zoom and you can do pretty much all the Sony can and then some the note taking experience is extensive so if we have the paintbrush we can do strokes like that we can go down to the paintbrush size expand it really large still do the thin lines we were doing before but as we press down we can actually make it bleed there are thousands of levels of pressure sensitivity we'll get into some writing in a second if you flip the pen over you get the ability to do erasing very quickly get out of there if you want more of a direct non bleed pen you can use the pencil and that will um, that will depend on what uh, level of thickness you choose you also have circles triangles lines straight lines etc and you have color change which is basically just an isolated eraser you also have th this is the coolest thing you also have um, backgrounds and you can change them on the fly you can uh, you know oh I gotta change my color you can make your 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 next sonata in D minor I don't know anything about music 
There's my treble clef. You can do eraser. There's uh, many different ways to do erase. You can clear the page, stroke eraser, erase all. You can disable the touch screen. There's so many things up here. There's refresh, there's back a step, forward a step, save, add new page, etc. We'll just do a little bit of writing here so you guys can get a sense of what it looks like. So I'll go, this is the note. Then I'll write kind of small. Hello, everyone. My name is Peter. That's pretty quick. That's very responsive. The Note does a fantastic job. The Sony, again, PDF, ebook, etc., you have the same functionality and there isn't much of it. So you can start writing. And although the writing on here is really, really nice, um, there isn't much else you can really do. You can change colors, so to speak, so that when you export, the image the grayed out pieces will be red so if you're marking a test or something like that and then you go back to the blue pen for you know the positive check marks and when you export it it will actually be in color this is good for signing documents you have eraser size and pen thickness because there's no level of pressure pressure sensitivity um, that's basically where the um, experience ends you have a couple settings here you have display documents side by side two page spread which you can see in our full review video um, and then area selection page jump there isn't a whole lot you can do in terms of the PDF uh, sorry the note taking experience on this it is pretty bare bones you can change one more thing we'd like to mention is if you go to create new note you can change backgrounds but not on the fly you can only do them from the very get-go so if I make my new one it'll be a graph and I'll be stuck with graph for the duration of my note taking that's basically it. There's no other major parallels we can draw. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know for goodyreader.com. This is Peter.